Hi, so I have this exponent problem on the board. We have 5x to the x power equals 5 to the 5 to the 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise both. We have a lot of 5, so I'm going to raise both sides to the 5. We just need to be very careful with the exponent rules because it's very easy to make a mistake with the parentheses and with um, the exponent tower. So what we can do is we can multiply this inside again carefully. So this is going to be 5 to the x to 5 to the x. Now this one, I think you have to be even more careful because in an exponent tower, you calculate from top to bottom. So it's actually calculated this way, not from the bottom, which means there's an applied, implied parenthesis right here. Okay, which makes a big difference. So then when we multiply on this expression, you can think of, we could call this um, B. That actually helps make it a little easier to not make a mistake. So then if we do that, and we write this as, this right side of the equation as five to the five to the B, but then we establish B we already made the substitution, so we can call this our b to the b, which is exactly what we want, because then over here, if we call a 5x, this side's gonna be a to the a, so we set up the a to the a, b to the b scenario that we wanted. So then we're equating, we're just saying at this point that a equals b, okay, but now, we know what A and B is. We're saying this means we can substitute back and we can say that 5x equals 5 to the 5. We almost have our answer. We just need to divide both sides by 5. And then what we can do, get a little, we have a implied one there. So we can just subtract. Um, this is the same thing as five to the five minus one, which is x equals five to the fourth, which equals 625. Now let's just check that with our original problem. Let's see what happens if we put a 625 in there. Um, 625, and let's, let's use the five to the fourth. It's gonna be easier to work with. So if we go back to five times x, where this is five to the fourth, and then we have a five to the fourth. Multiplying these, we're gonna have a five to the five. So then we have five to the five, we'll keep parentheses to five to the fourth. And then what we can do is, again, using the reverse of this rule up here, we can multiply this out and we get five to the five times five to the fourth, but multiplying that together, five times five to the fourth is actually five times five to the five, which is exactly what we wanted.